guys, I have a favourites video for you. We're into November now, it's getting really, really cold. So grab yourself a cup of tea, get warm, get cosy, because I'm going to start off with all my makeup favourites this month. Um, I have been shopping at Superdrugs and just looking at the newer products that have come in and MUA, which is the Makeup Academy, have more of, um, they've added like little bits um, to their collection and I think there's a that they have at the moment. Now, if you don't know um, uh, Makeup Academy and they're, they're basically, I think they're exclusive to Superdrugs so they're not in Boots or anything like that or anywhere else, you find them in Superdrugs and um, yeah, they have, so they're, they look like that, so it's MUA and this is their um, Pixel Perfect Multi Blush, so it looks like this, so beautiful. So um, their products range from about um, like two pound to one pound you can even get blushes for a pound to like up to five six pounds their items go up to you can get a foundation for four pounds in there so now there's a lot of stigmatism towards this brand a lot of people think that their um, products that are for children or you know kids wanting to like you know 15 year olds 14 year olds 13 year olds even I mean I started wearing makeup when I was about 11 when I first started secondary school so there I think people think that they're aimed at um, kids like that who want to get into makeup which is a, it is a great idea to introduce makeup if you're wanting to introduce, introduce your kids to makeup and um, this is a great selection to start off with but I think they're really underrated at how well their products actually work and um, they're great I mean their blushes are really really great I mean this tone this um, texture of color the way um, I mean it doesn't come up great when you swatch it but actually on this color really really I've got it all, it's the blush I'm wearing today it's really buildable it really reminds me of blushes um, like from MAC like they're buildable colors um, and the L'Oreal blushes they kind of remind me of ones like this and the newer blushes from them are a lot better than their original formula this is a lot more light in texture um, not velvety but very light in texture um, I would love them to be velvety because I love velvet blushes but um, I think the color of these are really nice so they have like browns and corals in them dark pinks light pinks and I think when you swatch them all together and apply them to your cheeks they work really really well they they look, they sit really well on top of my makeup. Um, I wore it on top of foundation as well, so I would highly recommend if you're looking for a blush. This is about three pounds, which I think is really affordable if that's what you're looking for. The other, um, the other things that I have from them are um, a bronzer that I picked up, and you can get this in a matte um, formation as well. Um, this is the um, MUA Bronze Perfection Shimmer. So beautiful and I was really kind of like it's I was worried that I'm gonna get it home I'm gonna test it out and I'm not gonna like it I already had kind of like judged it before I even bought it swatched it anything because all these um, products also come sealed and everything so you can only try out the testers and when I tried out the tester I was kind of like mm, okay it's okay when I got it home and actually I've got it on today I applied it to my contours my and I bronzed up my face beautiful it's what well, I think this is the best bronzer I've tried in a really long time and I haven't used any other bronzer since my Elizabeth Arden one and my body shop one which I love and the L'Oreal um, bronzer contour kit that I have from them and honestly for four pounds this is amazing like I recommend if you're looking for your kids or you're an adult and you want to just have a new bronzer this is great the matte one I would recommend if you like more of a matte bronze and you just want to um, slightly um, warm up your face but if you want kind of a sheen which I like to go for because sometimes I if I'm in a rush and I don't want to look for my highlighter you don't even need to highlight I think with the gold specks in this which is around the outside of it they really show up on your skin the gold specks add like a glitter to your skin but a really nice sheen um, I know I've mixed it in with my highlighter here but honestly when I bronzed up with this I was so surprised at how much 
um, of the gold specks it actually picks up and I don't actually mind because my skin is quite olive toned so I have kind of browns and um, kind of a gold textured skin anyway so I thought this was perfect for my skin my perfect for my kind of olive um, skin tone um, yeah I highly recommend and um, the other one that they have in store would be perfect for just warming up your skin if you're more paler or medium then that would be perfect as well the other two things I picked up from MUA um, from their Lux collection are these two palettes here um, both eyeshadow palettes so let me just show you this one which I absolutely love is the eyeshadow I'm wearing at the moment and I just patted it all over my lips really easy to kind of throw on as well um, so this is a newer um, eyeshadow kit that they've added to their selection more, kind of going towards more of the other eyeshadows that are out at the moment um, kind of like the Maybelline tattoos which are like gelish formulas so this is kind of a gelish um, type of formula it's the metallic eye palette in alchemy there's also another version of this that they have which is more of a rosy toned um, eyeshadow now I have to be really careful with this because when I was playing around with them and I've, I'm using them the pans actually fall out of the palette so yes they are more cheaper um, kind of palettes but the actual product inside is really really good if you're looking for something uh, an easy eyeshadow to wear or you don't want to spend too much money on like the L'Oreal L'Oreal La palette nudes and um, the one that I have is in rose they're about ten pound this was about four pound or five pound I think I think it was about five pound i will leave the prices of the them in the description box below but basically you get like a primer on the end which i won't bother with because i actually didn't like it um i prefer the i prefer sometimes even to use just a concealer and a powder on top um then this one it's like a silvery metallic shade really creamy and velvety in texture it's so so pretty so kind of swatches like that. So really metallic -y. if you're going on an evening out. This would just look great on... Um, I'm I'm kind of sceptical of like silver shades on me. Because sometimes I feel like they wash me out in a sense that it just doesn't suit my skin tone. But these two colours here are to die for. They're amazing. This is more of a like um, a brownish coloured um, colour. Like with a really nice they just feel so velvety and um, soft so pretty it's kind of like a light goldy brown and then this one is more of a the color that I have on at the moment it's a very metallic gold so those are the three colors and I just feel like this gold is just um, I will test out throughout the whole day to see how long it lasts because I'm hoping fingers crossed it lasts a really long time and honestly I I, I love the formulation of these um, these colours, um, these textures are great, they're really velvety, they're really easy to work with. wouldn't use a brush with them because I feel like the product would stay on the brush and not on your lids. The best way to apply these is with your fingers and then gently just patting motions and patting them on to get it all over your lid. Great on top of a just basic eyeshadow, like I've used um, just a basic pigmented um, dark brown eyeshadow which I haven't got in this video but it was one from H&M and I think it's called Brownie Points. It's a really beautiful um, matte brown eyeshadow. So, so pretty. Would highly recommend it. Um, yeah, so I just used that on top and I just love the formulation of these and the way they go on really effortlessly. Um, you can build up the colour as well and especially this one is my favourite. I just wish there was more product in the pan because... Um, I do like to build up my colour quite a lot so I feel like this will be going really really quick and the other eyeshadow palette that I have um, from MUA the Luxe um, collection is this selection of colours how pretty is that it's so autumnal as well my two favourite colours have to be um, these two kind of one is like a really copperish kind of orangey colour and the other one is like a gold so and then you get like the browns and you get the lighter golds um, you even get like this odd kind of a light brown textured one here and this one was great for kind of highlighting the brow bone which I used today and then I also mixed um, the two copper kind of shades into my crease and really built up that colour behind um, 
the very dark brown that I cut kind of used firstly and they just worked really really well I actually um, used um, a primer and if you don't have a primer or anything I actually wet my brush into eye drops to kind of get this color to be more intense to work into my crease and it worked really well but um, they swatch really beautifully as well they're really soft in texture I mean you can build up the colors they're not as pigmented as the other gelish kind of formula ones that I showed you but I mean they are buildable and they're still and um, beautiful to use they seem to be lasting well and um, yeah I really like the um, formulation of these as well they're really soft in texture I feel like these are better than the other eyeshadows that they used to have which were more light in texture not as velvety either so these are more velvety textured um, formulations and they obviously you can see they really remind me of the like shimmer bricks that Bobbi Brown used to do. They used to have a rose um, shaded one and then a neutral brown one. So this really reminds me of the neutral brown one that Bobbi Brown came out with. And obviously they're kind of trying to kind of dupe um, the higher end kind of products. But I still think that these are really good um, selection of colours to have. They're really easy to work with if you can't really afford the higher end stuff. Um, yeah, they're just really pretty. I mean, I think they're going to really compete a lot with like the L'Oreal collection and things like being like four or five pounds I mean you can't really go wrong with this they're a nice wash of color on your eyes so if you're looking for something like this highly recommend it because I'm getting on really well with them and I would never kind of say that they're okay just for like kids to kind of um, experiment with when they're new to makeup I think even adults can use these like um, I don't think um, we as adults should be shy to try out their products on their countenance because they're more aimed at 16, 17 year olds. I mean, these are really good products. I mean, that bronzer I will be using a lot and the blushes um, I think I'll be using for the next few weeks. Um, yeah, I really love it. And the other things, um, the last thing that I really, really have enjoyed using from them is their MUA um, the lip lacquers. So this is from their Luxe collection as well. It's the Velvet Lip Lacquer and I have mine in the colour Dash. It's a really beautiful, it's not the colour I have on the mo at, at the moment. I did use it for a makeup look and um, that video is going to be up soon so check it out. But um, it's like a light berry tone. So, so easy to wear. Such an easy colour to wear for an everyday as well. I will just swatch it for you just to show you how it looks. It's such a beautiful colour. It looks like that. So it's a very light berry toned almost pinkish shade and honestly guys I love this I love even the smell of these they they have like quite a sweet subtle scent to them like a very sweet subtle scent to them um, very pigmented dry completely matte so if you're not into your matte lipsticks this actually dries really really matte so I would highly recommend exfoliating your lips to help um, the lip lacquer to go on a lot more smoother I think they retail for about four pounds and um, yeah they're just a really nice lip to wear the only thing I will say that I the only one thing that I don't like about it I like the color I like the pigment um, I love how long it lasts um, and everything about it the only thing I hate about it is it's a bitch to take off it literally dries so matte and feels so uncomfortable on my lips like I can't wait to come home and take it off that's the only thing uh, negative thing I will say about it is that it's really really uncomfortable uncomfortable to wear and really hard to take off with just a makeup wipe I need to actually get makeup remover a lot of it and just really go in with the makeup remover to remove it it's so hard to take off but it lasts all day and obviously with matte lipsticks everybody knows that they're they can be uncomfortable uncomfortable Uncom blah, blah, blah. uncomfortable to wear um, wearing lip balms underneath help um, using lip scrubs to make sure that you have no flaky dry to your lips before you apply it really helps so just be aware of when you do wear matte lipsticks that this is the situation with them but they do dry um, and they also if you don't exfol with this because it's obviously a cheaper formulation with this this can look quite dry and crumbly on the lips so you really have to expose your lips if you want to wear the cheaper version of like 
the Anastasia Beverly Hills. These really remind me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills, which I think they're trying to dupe, but they look a lot drier on the lips. So highly recommend exfoliating your lips if you're going to wear this because you can actually see um, the dryness of your lips underneath the texture of your lips underneath this so you need to have extremely exfoliated lips on if you're going to wear this i've probably repeated that about three or four times but it's such a beautiful color and um i just love the color and everything of this but it's just a shame that it's such a bitch to wear so um yeah would love it if they came out with like the NYX ones, the NYX ones are easier to wear because even though they're matte lipsticks and they dry matte, they feel more comfortable on the lips and they're those whipped ones. I haven't got one in front of me, but there was a similar color to this that I loved from NYX. So if you don't like really drying matte um, lip lacquers, um, try the NYX ones because they're really great as well. Um, the other things that I have been loving recently are from Topshop and I have their eye colour pot things, really really great. These are basically like the Maybelline colour tattoos, um, they're like gelish formulas so they're really great. They, I actually like them, I prefer them more than the Maybelline colour tattoos because they're so pigmented and um, whereas Maybelline colour tattoo ones are more buildable gelish formulas so they start off quite light and then you can build them these are whoa so pigmented like literally need the tiniest amount of this blend it out with your fingers on your eye lids and you're actually good to go you you could easily just wear this on its own if you wanted to um, wash off color on your eyes for an every day really great to use I've actually used this on my waterline and it worked really well with an eyeliner pen um, just a, a eyeliner to kind of oh, what am I, I can't, literally cannot get my words out today but yeah I just used like a little flat angled brush to line my waterline with it and it worked really well to do that it's really pigmented and it kind of gives you the finish of it is more so like an eye shadow so it's not like a um, kind of liner so it gives you that shadow finish but it's e really because it's a gelish formula it's really easy to work with but still looks like a shadow really love the formulations of these um and i have mine in the color so this is revealed i think and then i also have it in the color bear and i love this color it's more of a metallic -y, um silver gray more like a metallic -y gray and it's really great i think i used this a while back in another video um, another get ready with me video it's not as pigmented as revealed but it's so so pretty just to use even on its own um, love these formulas and they stay on all day they last all day they last all day um, they stay on really well but the only way the best way to apply them is without a brush is using your fingers um, yeah so I would use them more as a kind of on top of a shadow color or on their own that's they work great like that the other eyeshadow that I have been loving recently is more of a higher end one and it's from NARS it's their little single eyeshadows um, I don't think it's a newer col color to their selection I feel uh, this is I bought mine on Amazon but I feel like it's quite a popular shade actually it's in the color Gal Galapagos, Galapagos, and um, I just love it. It's this really dark, I have it on at the moment, it's the colour that I started off with. It's a very chocolatey, dark brown shade, and it's so pigmented. It's one of the more pigmented colours from the NARS eyeshadows. It's more of a like a um, travel side um, kind of eyeshadow, which is really easy for me to travel with. It's a really easy colour to kind of throw on as well and build up. Um, a great transition colour kind of to have in your crease colour would be great for evenings out and I just I don't know there's something about it that I just love I think it is the shimmer in it and the way it looks on your lids I mean you could just easily just use this on its own I just love it I love the shimmer in it and the pigment of the colour is just so 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 pretty so huge favourite of mine if you're looking for something for autumn winter for a party look or just to throw on for an evening out or a date night this is a great one to have it's really really pretty um, and really easy to work with of course 
Um, I, I love the formulation of this. It's really easy to blend out with the brush as well. Um, and you can build up that colour if you want, but a tiny amount of it, that's my belly rumbling, that's a tiny amount of it um, goes a long way with that. Um, what is the other thing? The last thing that I want to mention is this lipstick. What's this one? This lipstick from H&M. So I spoke about that matte lipstick earlier from MUA, which um, I love, but because it's so drying, um, it's really hard to wear and I can't wait to take it off obviously when I get home. But these H&M lipsticks, which are not completely matte, they're semi-matte, they are great. They are honestly, they last so long on your lips. It's the lipstick I'm wearing now, so they're semi-matte, they're not completely matte, but they're because they're semi-matte, they last all day on your lips. You could be drinking, eating throughout the day. They literally, day, I meant day, um, and they still will not come off. They stay on your lips. You don't get that kind of gap in the middle of your lips because you've been eating and drinking and you have to reapply. Literally no one will notice that you've been wearing this lipstick for so long and you haven't reapplied. It lasts a really long time on the lips. They're really affordable as well. I think they're about five or six pounds, five ninety nine each I think. And I have mine in the colour. The colour I'm wearing now is 212 Lennox Lounge. I really like the name. So it's a really chocolatey, almost has like a hint of orange in it, a hint of red, reddishness to it. But a very brunette kind of brownish toned colour. And I just love it. I love wearing H&M um, lipsticks. They have to be my favourite drugstore ones at the moment um, because they last so long and they feel really moisturising on the lips. Um, they really give higher end products a run for their money because my favourite, favourite high end lipstick at the moment to wear is the Clinique one, the Pop, Clinique Pop lipsticks in Berry Pop. Love that lipstick at the moment for winter. I've been wearing it a lot, but if I'm not wearing that, because I so don't want it to just like disappear on me and I have to repurchase it. So I go in between lipsticks and it's either the H&M ones or the Clinique one which I've been loving at the moment. And I love the package of the packaging of these because they really look really, really high end. So super, super loving this product at the moment. Highly recommend if you're looking for a semi matte or just a lipstick for winter, autumn time. The other thing that I've kind of gone back to and I'm using at the moment for my makeup collection. It's not something I recently purchased but have just kind of came across in my makeup collection and have been using and adding to my foundation is this. If you really want to get like a really nice glow to your skin, this is a really great one to kind of add to your um, foundation. Um, how I like to use it is, um, I'll tell you what it is first, it's the Rimmel um, London Good to Glow Highlighter Illuminator and I have mine in 003 Soho Glow and I love it. I, at first it took me a while to actually work with it but once I started working with it I just love the finish it leaves with um, my foundation. I do use it with a lighter weight foundation so if you're going to use it with a heavier foundation I don't think it works as well. I used it with my Lumi Touch um, cushion foundation and it worked really well because this is more of a dewy glowy finished foundation so it works better with those types of lighter weight foundations. Um, it will probably even work well with the Healthy Serum um, one from Bourjois because I, I used it with that once and it worked really well you probably can't see it but it has a really nice kind of um, it's the one that I'm wearing now as well which I just added to my foundation and blended it all out and it's just so pretty if you don't like highlighting too much this is a, a good one to use and just add it to your foundation to give you a really nice glow to your foundation and your skin so highly recommend this and I love this colour on me as well it's um, yeah 003 Soho Glow highly recommend this I love the formula of this as well it's really light and luminous um, it's a really good drugstore highlighter as well. Really underrated, I think, because a lot of people don't talk about this, but I actually really, really enjoy wearing this and adding this to my foundation. Um, really feel like it completes my foundation in a way. So, um, yeah, and you don't lose so much of the glow when you're just adding powder to your face. It really does um, stay, um, and really does have that staying power and when you add it to your foundation. So that's all my products I have to share with you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this um, favourites video. I know I've kind of rambled through, um, trying to get quickly through all the products. I really wanted to share them with you and I honestly, these are all my own opinions and I really enjoy using these products and 
um, high, would obviously recommend them to you um, because I do really enjoy wearing them. Um, yeah guys, so please give this a video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more videos and upcoming videos as well. It's free to subscribe, I say this all the time, but subscriptions really help me to do what I love, which is um, obviously talking and rambling about makeup all the time but I do love experimenting with all the new latest makeup because it's amazing the makeup that, that they have and the standard of makeup that they have out um, in just the drugstores at the moment and when I grew up I was literally in love with like eyeliner and now they have literally so many colours and textures to work with so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time thanks guys bye